Climate change is potentially the greatest tragedy of our lifetime, and the time to act is rapidly passing us by. Unfortunately, how to address it has become an extremely polarizing, politicized issue. On the right, the idea that addressing climate change will cause economic collapse is a pervasive narrative, and it's used to alienate people and make them feel like the government is interfering with their lives if it does anything to address climate change. And on the left, climate change is promoted in a way that says, oh my God, we're all gonna die if we don't make incredible sacrifices right now. Both of these are vast simplifications of climate change. My research is about understanding how entrepreneurs see opportunities to create a product or service that allows stakeholders to self-select into helping to solve climate change, regardless of their motivations or political affiliations. One of my more recent studies, I looked at the adoption of the LEED Green Building Standards in the United States from the year 2000 through 2017. As a first step, we divided the U.S. into metropolitan statistical areas, and then we looked at these areas' political leanings, including their underlying social norms. Next, we looked at three approaches to increasing adoption of green building in those areas. First, activism by social movement organizations. Second, consultants that helped companies adopt the new green building standards. And third, economic policies passed by the government to encourage LEED standards adoption. It turns out those interventions made no difference in liberal regions because those areas were already adopting LEED standards regularly. But surprisingly, they made a huge difference in more politically conservative regions. Separately, we looked at entrepreneurs starting businesses in those regions. Politically liberal areas increased their adoption of LEED by 61% and politically conservative regions increased adoption by 70%. In other words, regardless of the political leanings or cultural beliefs, entrepreneurship was the only one of those interventions that made a significant difference regardless of the underlying factors. And those findings are part of what leads me to believe that entrepreneurs can help eliminate this partisan argument around climate change. further we can get from these competing narratives of economic devastation versus sacrifice for the greater good, the better off we'll be. We need to understand how, why, and when individuals create new products and services that simultaneously reduce our carbon emissions and create economic growth. Creating entrepreneurial solutions to address climate change is the single biggest economic opportunity that's going to exist in my lifetime and probably in yours as well. There's already a lot of thought leadership emerging here in Colorado. Excel Energy is making an aggressive commitment to get to carbon neutrality by 2050. We just became the number one green building lead adoption state in the country. There's also a lot of entrepreneurship in natural and organics foods and products. And they're all evolving with climate and environmental issues in mind. So while we often hear about the arguments around policies addressing climate change and how they might take away our freedom or not address the problem enough, I argue what we need to focus in is how do we support entrepreneurs that are building the products and services of the future that will help us address climate change without having to make huge sacrifices.